Now welcome once again to speak war onto your mountains program. And I'm praying for somebody here that every dominion of darkness arising against our destiny shall be shattered to pieces today. Tonight shall amen rule like thunder. Let's up your two hands to the Lord and sing this song loud and clear. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. And Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Hallelujah, victory, victory. Hallelujah. Sing it again loud and clear. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Hallelujah. Victory. Victory. Hallelujah. He is able. Abundantly. Is able to deliver, to deliver and to save, and to save his people. Hallelujah! And able, is able to deliver those who. If you believe it, sing it again loud and clear. He is able. Hallelujah, is able to be, to deliver and to save, and to save his day. Hallelujah, is able to be. I love the man of Galilee, of Galilee, for he has done so very much for, very much for me, he has for me all my sins. And say now, Holy Ghost, to me, I love the man of Galilee, of Galilee, I love the man of Galilee, of Galilee, for so very much, for very much. For me, he has forgiven me all my sin and sin. When he goes to me, I love the Oh God, you are the pillar of my life. Hallelujah, you are the pillar of Master Jesus, 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 Hallelujah, you are the pillar of my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar of my life. Hallelujah, Master Jesus, you are the pillar of my How I love you. 
every day. Possibility possible, he made impossibility. The over Jaira, the over Nisi, the over Loi, the over Loi, the over Nisi, the over Shama. I've been to Calvary, I did my eyes in the blood of the Lamb, I did the blood of Jesus. My life has been made. I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. Hallelujah. My life has been made whole. God, 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 God. My life has been made whole. My life has been made whole. Onishara, Onishaya, Onishara, the Lord who was. Yes, 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 the Lord who was. Onishara, Onishaya, Onishara, the Lord who was. Yes, Onishara. Onishaya, Onishara, the Lord who was. For where they are, can God for you find my way down? For where they are, can God for you find my way down? Ah, who live in my heart? Ah, who not go there? I will never ma. I will not go there. Who go aya? 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 The God that answered by fire. Your hand, your hand, your hand. Connecting me to my
within five minutes, God is going to break jokes that has tied down the finances of many. It is important that you pray these few prayers because those angels are around. Angels of prosperity. So within the next few minutes, pray this prayer the way you've never prayed before. Especially if you want that kind of breakthrough. So powers that hate my prosperity. What are you waiting for? Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Bakatese tende yaboshenta. Rima sepia le katanda. In Jesus name we pray. The next three prayers will bring anyone who can pray it well. Expected and unexpected prosperity. Birds of darkness. Swallow my money. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Something is happening here already. That's why Jesus brought you here. Bapodi Katera Bosanta. The Ribosoponda Kaya Boshantaraba. In Jesus, then we pray. Say, arrows of poverty backfire in the name of Jesus. Something is happening, something is happening. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Serpents and scorpions of poverty. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. That's right. Tonight is tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Back potera bo setende ya bo shantera ba. De katende ribo setende ke ya bo shantera. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Serpents and scorpions Trouble my life yeah! In the name of Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Papalia Katena Rabba In Jesus Name we pray. Can there be silence? As I pray direct prayers for some cases that God is bringing to my grace now. Father, I am praying for all those who are here tonight. And the enemy has decided that they will never leave the level where they are. I decree by the decree of heaven, Lord. Any chain binding those people down, let the chain be broken now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Silence. There is a rage in the heavens now against any power holding tight. To the wealth of God's people. I'm going to count seven from here. On the count of that seven. Anyone at all in this gathering. If your wealth and your prosperity is in the water. If your children are in the water. Your blessings are hidden in the water. If your virtues are in the water. As I count these seven. The angels here will be by your side. And they will lay their hands upon you. 
and that yoke will be broken instantly. You may not be able to stand on your feet, but it does not matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. They must be released from the waters. Doesn't matter who put them there. Makatenda Rabushanda. Ribo Sepia Nikatenda Kaya Bushenta. Nakantenda Rabosente Yabushente Raba. Bakatenda. They sit here on the Katena. That person over there, they've slaughtered you for surgery. But really, it's an arrow of domestic witchcraft. Right there where you are. That witchcraft sponsored infirmity. I command it to depart from your life now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. You will now shout this loud and clear. Very powerful prophetic prayer. It is dangerous to keep quiet. Angels of prophecy. Take your position in my life. Can you shout that loud? Those of you on the gallery, can I hear you shouting it? There is somebody in that gallery who needs to shout that loud. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bapotali katenda rabo sopola kaya In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for tonight. And we thank you for your grace and power. We thank you because you have never failed your people. We thank you for this program that you have called by yourself. And we thank you for the mountains that have been moved. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Tonight, any problem that has made the mistake of following anyone here, I bury you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Esavu Fodema. Thank you, Jesus. Obviously, God bless you. The mystery of hard battles. We go on with that message. The mystery of hard battles. And today we are looking at the rage. The rage of the number one public enemy. The rage of the public enemy number one. In the book of Deuteronomy, Chapter 18, verse 9. It will be good to listen to tonight's message very, very carefully. So that you can know how to pray with aggression when the time comes. When the time comes. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9. If you are there, say yes. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, Thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of these nations. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, 
or an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirit or a wizard or a necromancer for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord and because of these abominations the Lord that God doth drive them out from before thee as far back as the book of Deuteronomy in the Bible close to 400 years even before Jesus came to the earth these powers have been in operation they have been destroying lives consistently since that time in the mystery of hard battles the front line runner the agents of the worst destruction is what we want to react against here tonight this is a very serious matter then to make it more serious and mysterious and strange is something you find in the book of Psalm you find these strange words in the book of Psalm it's very strange I read Psalm 79 verse 2 strange verse Meaning that if you surrender your life to them, they will waste you. In Psalm 79 and verse 2, it says this. Well, let's take it from verse 1. It says, O God, even I come into thy inheritance, thy holy temple have they defied. They have laid Jerusalem on heaps. The dead bodies of thy servant of whose servants? servants of God the dead bodies of thy servants have they given to be meat unto the fowls of heaven and the flesh of thy saints unto the beasts of the earth their blood have they shed like water round about Jerusalem and there was none to bury them all this while, it is the blood of his servants. It is the body of his servants. Heaven stood by as if helpless and was just watching. 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 So, uh, so they are killing you. They are killing you. Okay, okay. You are supposed to come to heaven 20 years time, but you can come now and stay here. People will feel your destiny. Okay. This is a strange thing. But the reason for this happening is because the Bible tells us that the dark places of the earth they are full of the habitation of cruelty. It's cruelty they are practicing there. No wonder the psalmist prayed, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Can I hear you shouting that? Can you make it louder than that? Can you shout it again? These wicked forces, the principal of their school is the public enemy number one known as witchcraft. Gideon in the Bible was already packaged from heaven to do a great job. Although he was packaged from heaven to be a great man, Yet, some powers just silence his destiny. May you silence your silencers. May heaven silence your silencers. Every power silencing your destiny shall be buried alive. Let that amen roar like thunder. That amen is not loud enough. They silence the destiny of Gideon. There are thousands in this meeting tonight. You have been packaged for greatness even before you were born. You have been packaged for that greatness. And something within you is telling you that you are supposed to be great. But one way or the other, you are far from that place. These are the powers to deal with. I am praying for somebody here tonight. 
that the wickedness of the wicked in your destiny shall expire. I know a man who was at the age of 17 years that he left primary school. And we asked God, why? I said, it's because they have seen a star. He has been packaged for greatness. But the enemies unpackaged him. Domestic witchcraft unpackaged him. And he did not leave that primary school until the sword of Elijah ran through the demonic family he came from and slaughtered three people. I'm praying for somebody here. The sword of Elijah shall fight for you. In the name of Jesus. Joseph was packaged too for greatness. Warfare arose against him. But thank God, he was a prayer warrior. Joseph was jailed by a captain, but was brought out by commander in chief. The commander in chief that will release you unto your destiny shall locate your life. When these powers are against a man, there are three generators they want to knock. Once they knock those three generators in the life, a man is finished. One, favor. Once the generator of favor knocks, that's all. Two, creativity. That's what you are doing to be creative with it. Once they knock that one now, finish. Three, wisdom. Once they knock the generator of wisdom out, a man is finished. I'm praying for somebody here. If those generators have knocked, let heavens revive them now. In the name of Jesus. Let the wickedness of the wicked expire. That was the cry of the psalmist. A man came to me last week. I gave him some prayers to pray. He prayed the prayers. He was a traditional man who goes to traditional church. Traditional man, traditional church. Even in this modern generation, where the devil has changed his gear to gear number five, a young man is still going to Oni Akowale, Oni Akojade. Only blessing. And his father still has a chair he had bought in the church. They wrote the name of the father. The father that died in 1950 something. The name of the father is in one chair. Nobody should sit there. It's they that are sitting there. What they did not know every time they sat on that chair, there is fire lighted by which they are burning under that seat. May you not perish out of ignorance. <laughs> For the first time, he prayed MFM prayers. He ran back to me. He said, I could not sleep after praying the prayer. Because I slept and I had a short dream, just five minutes. From that time, I could not sleep again. I said, what did you see? He said, somebody just took me. I said, let's go. And he took me somewhere. And when I got there, I found people lying on the floor, people tied down on the wall, people they are, they are shooking pin on the body of some people. Some they are cutting their bodies, some they are whipping them. But many of them look sickly and unwell. And that the kind of cry they were crying, it, it, that even he remembers his, his body is still shaking. And he saw them. And the great man said, uh uh-uh. uh. How did you get out? You are supposed to be part of this place. And he woke up. He was petrified. He said, sir, what is that place? He said, you have just seen a kobu. That is exactly how the place is. 
many of the suffering that we are complaining about is being perfected in the spirit realm. Many of the things that the doctor will do x-ray, he will do scan, he will do anything, he will not see, is because it's from the COVID. Many of the babies that were taken out of the womb and they will replace the baby, they, and the doctor will not see it, it's from there. You have just seen a COVID, I told you. I'm telling for somebody here. If any material in your body is in any coven, I command the thing to catch fire there. In the name of Jesus. Remember. The story of the mystery snake that was killed in Badagri. It was in the newspapers. There were names of eight persons written on pieces of paper. And there were seven passport photographs inside the serpent. Six out of those seven were already dead. The man who killed the snake is an MFM member. So, how will a man tell that he's just walking about but he's inside the snake? Who gave them these pictures? Your friends, your boyfriend, your party friends. They are the ones who have access to your passport photographs. But these days, they take it with your phone or with their phone. They will print it out. Hand it over to the native doctor. May you not get into the yoke of unfriendly friends. Every weapon secretly fashioned against you in satanic prayer houses and witchcraft covenant shall backfire. 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 In the name of Jesus. An occultic man got born again. He told us this. He said they tie the names of people to padlock. And put the padlock at the foot of a mountain. There are no mountains in Lagos. So they travel out. Because they want to destroy somebody else. So they take the padlock. Put people's name, go and drop it at the foot of a mountain. Meaning that the person remains down forever. He will never climb anywhere good. I'm praying for somebody here. If there is a padlock of witchcraft against your life, I destroy the padlock now. A servant for the man. He told us that when they want somebody to be very poor, they tie the people's name to coins and drop it inside a flowing river. What a wicked world we are in. How can the destinies of people be buried in the stomach of a snake? I insist by the power of God. That every buried and covered blessings shall be released today. In the name of Jesus. A louder amen. Do you know that some people's destinies are actually buried in the cemeteries and in the crossroads? There is the University of Lagos here. Plenty of uh, educated men living around there. Queen's College is across the road there. Within one or two minutes, you approach about Macaulay Street. Do you know that even at crossroads here, people still bring sacrifices here? And once they tie a person's destiny to the crossroad, it means you will never know what to do to prosper. You don't know whether to turn to the right, turn to the right. You are just there at the crossroad. Anyone here tonight who has been put at the crossroad of life, 
receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every snake, fish, animal, coin, cemetery, coven, holding the glory of anyone here, be scattered in the name of Jesus. Be scattered, 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 in the name of Jesus. So witchcraft is public enemy number one. Their operations and manifestations they differ from place to place, from culture to culture, from nation to nation, from tradition to tradition. Every nation, every race, every tribe, they have their own version of witchcraft. Since the time that Adam fell in the garden and witchcraft began, it has mastered races, it has mastered nations, it has mastered tribes, and is distributed evenly all over. And it's a very sad matter. And I want you to understand that if you leave them alone, they will destroy. They are widespread all over the world. Their agents live among men. They can possess animals too. They have agents among men where we work, where we live, everywhere. They can obtain any information they want about anybody. Sometimes they deceive men by putting on religious covers. All chief priests, all native doctors, all those who are involved in divining evil, they work hand in hand with them. All of them are associated with forests, fetish houses, mystical centers, seas, rivers, graveyards, and so on and so forth. There are plenty of wandering spirits, homeless spirits they are using to harm people. That's why if you are in this kind of meeting, you are seeing a kind of Christian who still goes to night parties, where they are dancing all kinds of things. You are to be extremely pitied because you don't know the havoc you are doing to your destiny. You still go to all those places in the middle of the night. These powers possess, these evil powers, they possess the power to appear in different forms to people. But when you strip them naked of their deceitful appearances, you will see that they are fearful and ugly to behold. Fearful and ugly to behold when you strip them naked. You see them in that party, they are very beautiful. Beautiful shape, beautiful smile. Wonderful dancing. And you get carried away. By the time if God naked them, and you see, if you see the object you have been dancing with, or the one you have slept with, you will cry endlessly for yourself. They can assume the form of the dead and impersonate the dead. They demonstrate knowledge of the past. This is one of the greatest problems that we have as black people. They go on astral projection, get outside their body and go to somewhere else. Many of what you call spirit husband, spirit wife, they are witchcraft attacks of people projecting out to go to people they like. They can transfer their body miles and miles. Running away is not the answer. They can get anywhere. Because of the wickedness that is rampant in our own environment. They do terribly wicked and crude things. The Western witch. They have a more decent approach. It's the same spirit like our own they are evoking. But they do their own in a cleverer way. They use their spirits to control people. Control things. This is a very serious matter. This is why God banned, banned the Israelites from copying them. 
These powers convert human flesh for sale in the market. This is why we must always pray on our food. Many people eat human flesh and drink palm oil and think it's palm oil, not knowing it's blood, because they don't pray on their food. I'm just hoping and praying that many of you who are using lipstick are just not leaking human blood into your system. They ride people like horses. And somebody who sleeps well wakes up with pains all over the body, not knowing he's been ridden as a horse. They can urinate on people's heads, on people's houses, on people's shops. That land will not prosper. The person will not prosper. The wares do not sell. There is nothing in darkness or light they cannot see. Even one day pregnancy disease, they send snakes and cows to people's dreams. They send women with male organs to go and attack fellow women. Many die in their sleep because of attacks by these powers. But the power of Jesus is superior to all these powers. But if you don't use it, it's not the fault of Jesus. If they give you soap, and you are praising the soap, beautiful soap, good fragrance, but you do not apply it to bathe yourself, although you have a good soap, your body will see the smell. I'm praying for somebody here today. Every concluded business by witchcraft against your life, I scatter it now. Let your amen roar like thunder. Let it roar like thunder. And so there are open witchcraft. They will threaten you. That I will show you who I am. There's this face me, I face you tenant houses. And each tenant will sweep the corridor per week. So one day one woman was the one in charge of sweeping that corridor. She swept all the dirtiness and went and left it at the door mouth of another person. Instead of taking it into the dustbin. When that one too came out and saw the dirt by her door. said, hey, hey, excuse me, whose name is on the timetable for sweeping this week? She mentioned the woman's name. So she took broom and swept the dirty thing back to the door mouth of the woman and left it there. When the woman opened the door and came out, so who swept this thing here? They mentioned the name of the woman who swept it there. And she went and knocked at the door. Say, you, me, I sweep for the front of your place. You can't get boldness to come and sweep it back. I go show you, say, woman pass woman. Oh, so she said. By the next day, this woman began to urinate on her body. She couldn't control her urine again. She couldn't control her bladder again. That's how she ran to the mountain of fire. Open witchcraft. The chatty people in the open. One man was in my former place of work like that. Chatting a man. The last time I fought somebody, the person is now biting wood. The one I slapped last week is now eating sand. And so I'm going to deal with you now. So when that man had somebody is biting wood, somebody is eating sand, he ran to my office. Doctor, 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 ha! Look at what that man said. I said, go back and tell him that he too will eat wood and will bite sand. Sir, no, sir, I cannot. Sir, are you not a Christian? <laughs> open witchcraft. May any open witchcraft threaten anybody here unto destruction be destroyed by their own powers. A sevenfold amen. There is the invisible witchcraft. They're invisible. They just operate. Invisible. They are finished and up they go. 
there is eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. Their duty to supply blood to the bank of Satan. They cause tragedy, they cause accident, they cause anything that will make people lose blood. There are the summoners who will call people out. The person will not be himself or herself again. There are blockers. They don't harm people. They don't drink blood. But whenever a good thing is coming, just block it. They just block it. They are both blockers. Anyone troubled by blockers here shall receive deliverance today. In the name of Jesus. Then, there are the slave masters. They capture people's spirit and make them to work hard labor whether in farms or somewhere like that do you know that they can take a person's spirit out and they are using you as a farmer somewhere and you don't know that is sexual witchcraft they draw people into sex without their wish you look at the man you don't like the man you look at the woman you don't like the woman but anytime they control you you fall into their control before you even say anything, unless you don't like at all, remove your trouser and you remove it. Say, Madam, 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 this is not good. Come on, come, Madam, remove your trouser and you've taken it out. You are 25, Madam is 55. When you finish, break that and start crying. But meanwhile, they are draining you dry because everything they are taking from your body is going to the cook. It's going to the cook. A man came here last week. He brought a woman home. This man is not born again. Although he says he's a deacon somewhere. Took a woman home. After sleeping with the woman, something said, go and look. Go and look at what she's doing in the toilet. He went there and saw the woman brought out a small container. And he was bringing out a spam from the condom. A small bottle. He took the bottle from her. Started beating her. Then he was during the beating. He now realized that he was in trouble. Because all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the hand he used to slap her became impotent. The leg became impotent. He fell down. And the woman took, she took the bottle away and went out. Now, they ran to Mountain of Fire. They don't like us, but they were run here. They don't like our dressing, but they run here. And I said, well, they have, you are a dick, isn't it? They have just dickened your own life now. So, bless it. Three weeks. Don't leave the place. With you. There is business witchcraft. They sell off a person's business in the spirit. They sell off business houses in the spirit. There are sweeper witchcraft. They just sweep the marriage away, sweep beneficial things away. There are terror witchcraft. They instill fear into people. There is infantile witchcraft. They are the most wicked of witches. They show no mercy. They have never been to the maternity to deliver children, so they show no mercy. Tonight, we are not have work to do. Within the next few minutes, a lot of transactions are going to take place. The transaction will catapult people from minimum to maximum. Because as a result of the prayers we want to pray now, long-standing yokes shall be broken. <laughs> and any cause of which of witchcraft under which anybody labor shall be cancelled completely. <laughs> opportunities that witchcraft are stolen from you, you shall repossess those opportunities. <laughs> and those powers that have been pressing down your head struggling to silence your destinies. This prayer you are going to pray now will silence them forever. <laughs> Can you shout this loud and clear? I fire back! <laughs> Every hour of witchcraft in my body in the name of Jesus open your mouth and fire it back. Something is happening already. Fire it back. Enough is enough. Back at ten, the Kaya Boshen Terabah. 
Papaya ni katenda raba. Riba sapande kaya bashanta. In Jesus name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, this hand that has stretched you. Father, convert it to battle axe. This hand that has stretched here now. On smiting. Let enemies flee. It is written that the strangers shall fade away. And they shall be afraid out of their close places. This hand will receive fire. Receive fire. Receive the anointing. In the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready. Anywhere you have any problem in your body, you will smite it. And when you smite it with a loud voice, you will shout, Blood of Jesus. Are you ready now? 21 times. Don't feel sorry for that place. Let's go. Yes. 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 Do it well, do it well. Don't feel sorry for that place. That's the power of God coming upon you. That's the power of God coming upon you. Aha. 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 Be released. Be released. Be released. From the grip of infirmity. Be released. From the grip of the enemy. Be released. 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 Be Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Check your body now. Check it very well. A lot of infirmities have disappeared. Check your body very well. Makatenda rabo sopondia. Ribo setende keya bo shente raba santa. Pakatenda raba. Bakaya busha. Say, witchcraft padlocks. A sign against me. Bread. In the name of Jesus. Break the padlock. Tonight is tonight. Yes, yes, break, break, break. In Jesus' name we pray. To any power calling my name into a pot. Can you shout this loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Da! In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Something is happening here tonight. For Porta Satanic Ayabo Shanta. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Let there be silence. Father, you told us that behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over every power of the enemy. Father, I'm praying for your children here tonight. This strong man responsible for anybody's mountain. This strong man responsible for anybody's problems. Papota le kariko satia. In the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I command the strong man to die. In the name of Jesus. In the name.
name of Jesus. Let our amen roar like thunder. Jesus. Bring out the paper of the mantle you want to move and stretch it towards this altar and let your amen roar like thunder as I pray. Father, we stretch forward on this paper. Every mountain we do not want again in our lives. Father, shake the heavens. Shake the earth. Shake the grave. Shake the seas. Shake the forest. And let the portion of your people be released. Receive your portion in the name of Jesus. Every Pharaoh, every Goliath, every Herod, every Nebuchadnezzar walking against the destiny of your people, I command them to die in the name of Jesus. Every mountain written on this paper, you mountain on the paper, hear the word of the Lord. I command you to vanish. 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 Let your amen be loud. Vanish, 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 in the name of Jesus. The powers that have been troubling your Israel, everyone shall trouble them tonight. In the name of Jesus. Now with a voice that has no mercy. Say, Whoa! Unto every witchcraft power. Troubling my destiny. Can you shout that loud? Your voice is not loud enough. 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 A seven point of man. Thanks for watching. Remember to click the subscribe button and the notification bell beside it to be updated with Ebenezer Make Channel's video whenever available. Don't forget to comment, like, and share the video with your friends and family. Bye!